Hey everybody, welcome back to Dave's Small Engines. Today here I have a still FS38 string trimmer. Uh, I would consider this to be the perfect homeowner trimmer for 95% of the population. If you've got a smaller lot, this is the string trimmer for you. Now, I put this trimmer away in the fall after doing a carb kit on it because I wanted it to run perfect when I started it in the spring. And let me show you what I'm finding right now. So no matter what I do, pressing the purge bulb, I cannot get fuel into the carburetor. I probably pressed this over a hundred times because I know things can kind of dry up, but this is a brand new carburetor kit in here. It was working great a few months ago. And now for some reason, the carburetor will not draw fuel up into the purge bulb. So let's pop this line off here and see if the pressurizing system is working and then we'll go from there. So because when I pump air into this primer bulb or purge bulb and it shoves, oh, it's coming out more there, and it pressurizes the fuel tank and then in turn presses fuel up through the intake line, I know that the purge system is working, but I have an issue inside the carburetor. It could be one of the little check valves that's blocked or it's, uh, it's dried out or it's not functioning properly. So let's take it out and check it out. Now the nice thing here is that you don't need a lot of tools. Eight mil socket with a ratchet or on the end of a screwdriver work even, and then a Phillips screwdriver. So the first step, pop the air cover off, remove so the air cleaner and the air cover. Take those, set those aside. Inside here we have two eight millimeter nuts that have to come off, and then we can basically just take the carburetor right off. These can be a bit of a tight squeeze to get on. There's one. The second. And two. Then this cover or the air box will come off. Like that. And there's our carburetor. Just like that. Super easy access. Now. If you've been priming and priming and priming and priming, remember this fuel tank and fuel system here is pressurized. So if you take the pressure out by undoing the gas cap, when you take these lines out, you won't have to worry about fuel squirting everywhere. So there's three things holding this carburetor from coming off. I mean, you can see it's loose here now. We have the throttle cable, the fuel return and the fuel in. So you can use your finger on these. They're not on very tight. And then for the throttle, all you really do is press down, just like that. So if you hold it, let it go and hold this up, the cable will undo itself from the clasp. Then the carb can come off. All right, so let's take this apart and see if we can see anything, any blockages, anything of concern. It's one Phillips screw on the bottom and that shows us the pump side of things. Everything looks good there. As I said, this is a brand new carburetor kit. I don't see any obstructions. I don't see anything that's too concerning. Ah, so check that out. This is dry. It's new and it's dry, which means fuel isn't getting into the metering side of things. This is the intake for the carburetor. So fuel would go in here through these passages up into the metering side and then through the primer bulb because it would be like ch -ch 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 from there. So this tells me a lot. This is dry fuel isn't getting into the carburetor. I'm just gonna spray in the 
um, the passageways here and make sure that fuel is able to get from inside the carburetor up into the top where the metering system is. So one of the ways I do that is I spray all the little holes. Now watch your eyes here. You can see where these passages lead. I'm just using a normal carb cleaner here. And the other thing too is to make sure that it can get down in this package right here. So hold the needle, open and spray down. And these are the little one-way valves I was telling you guys about. This one right here, I think there's only one on this side, so I'll just spray it out. Kind of let things soak for a bit. If you have an ultrasonic cleaner, it's a great idea to use it at this point. Okay, so now we put it back together. Diaphragm first, gasket second, and the cap. There we go, let's put it on and see if uh, we made a difference here. There we go. Wow. So now it's purging just the way it should. That's awesome. Just goes to show you that if something gets stuck in there, sometimes it can get freed up with a little bit of help from a carb cleaner. Okay, so let's get the throttle cable back on. Helps if this is straight up and down. And then this cable can just slide right in. Sometimes the, uh, the carb cleaner can dry things out, so I like to spray a little WD in there to get things flowing. Just on the throttle plate arm. So that should be good now. Just what we like there. Put our gasket on. Airbox, the orange obviously goes to the top because that's the choke. The two nuts. I like to start them by hand. Remember, we are working with plastic here, so we're not torquing this to the moon. Just 
make sure they're snug. Just like that. Almost off to the races here, folks. And then we'll use the air box, which we've had helping us hold this up. Air filter. Air cover. Let's see if it'll start. So prime. Obviously, we've been priming it, so it should work. Choke on. Throttle locked on. So there we have it guys, the steel FS38 is now purging the way it's supposed to. You know, when you press down on that fuel, fuel purge bulb, it's doing everything that it, uh, it was intended to do. And as you saw, it started up first pull. There was no silly business there. That was legitimately the first time I pulled it over. And you can see obviously that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Now, when you heard me rev it up there, you could tell it was a little bit sluggish. I think it's just a little bit rich and some fine adjustments should bring that up to the RPM where it's supposed to be. If you liked the video or if it helped you, please like and subscribe. I'm having a ton of fun putting these videos out for you guys. I love the engagement. I respond to every comment. So I hope to see you in the comments. If you have any questions or if uh, you think I should have done something differently, I'm still learning too. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.